Two big stories this week, Senator Hatch's retirement and of course the passing of President Thomas S. Monson, the prophet of the LDS Church. And obviously religious ramifications, changes within the church, but this also affects Utah and politics and our community. So Natalie, I wonder if you can speak to that. I think uh, President Monson is a transformational figure in our state because of the longevity of his service. He was prophet and apostle even LDS bishop for so long, uh, so young in his life. I was in a conversation with someone and they basically said, you know, it's big news for Mormons, but not for everyone else. And I just completely disagree. Um, the head of the LDS church has enormous influence in our state that affects things that affect everybody. And I would point to the Utah Compact and what it did for immigration uh, legislation that the LDS church uh, supported. I would uh, point to the non-discrimination law that uh, helps with LGBT rights in housing and employment as something the LDS Church supported. That comes through the First Presidency and the Prophet and it affects everyone in the state. So this is not only a big deal for members of the LDS faith but for everyone in the state when a Prophet passes and who the new Prophet is. Damon, what are your thoughts? You know, I don't think that President Monson relished being involved in politics. Uh, but as, as Natalie so wisely pointed out, uh, the, cons the, the choices of the LDS Church in connection with, uh, with, with politics are really consequential for what happens in the state. And so one, one question that's on the minds of, of political observers in the state of Utah is what sort of, uh, of political interest uh, would uh, President Nelson have, uh, should he be, as, as many expect, uh, the next uh, president of the LDS Church? Ben, what are you seeing? Uh, I mean, much like what's being said. I mean, anecdotally, we hear how the LDS Church has sort of a, a Caesar's thumb power in the legislature to kill or pass legislation uh, that came up with hate crimes protections, that came up with non-discrimination clauses. And so with the new leadership team in the LDS Church, new executive first presidency, we could see all sorts of prevailing winds changes or none. It's, it's anything could happen. All right, any other thoughts? Well, and I think the point here is that any community leader is important to the state. It's not a matter of your you know, faith tradition. It's the fact that if you're a leader in the community, we're all connected. And uh, there's a John Donne poem uh, that mentions, you know, don't ask for whom the bell tolls, it to tolls for thee. And it's basically an, the idea that when that bell tolls and somebody dies, we're all connected in, in the human family and we're affected, and particularly when they're powerful. So that's, that's where I think we're at. Thank you all so much.